I'm going to show you how to do a male block or a modified male block. Now, the reason why you would do a male block is if you wanted to anesthetize uh, the, the medial col well, the, the medial aspect of the hallux and the first MTPJ joint. Um, I do it on two occasions. If somebody's got gout, and I get two or three of these every week where they have a gout in their big toe or in the first MTPJ joint. I give them a male block before I do the corticosteroid injection. I used to do it without the, without the male block, it's very painful. Or if you've got a very infected and growing toenail and the swelling is coming more proximal and you don't really want to put a needle into the swelling, then you would um, do a male block or you could do a male block. So in the first and second intermetatarsal area, you would do an injection here and you would take that needle all the way through to the plantar aspect of the foot. That would anesthetize, well, once you take it to the plantar aspect of the foot, you would put in a bolus of a couple of mil. That would anesthetize the medial plantar nerve. After, after you've done that, you would come further up and you would anesthetize the superficial perineal nerve and the deep perineal nerve. The deep perineal nerve is basically the intermetatarsal space of one and two. Uh, so you would, that would anesthetize that. Um, the superficial perineal nerve comes out about there and comes down. And it's got the first branch is the medial dorsal cutaneous nerve. So after you've done that injection, leave the needle in there and face it medially. So you're going to put a bolt, you're going to get a bleb up here. So you're going to come right across here. That will get the medial cutaneous nerve, which will get this as well. After that, you can take it out and re-inject this way, that would get the um, saphenous nerve, which is the nerve that runs there. That way you would anesthetize that entire area. We're gonna do a modified male block for this patient. He's got a very infected, swollen, big toe joint. Um, he managed to leave his ingrowing toenail for a year uh, with a really bad infection, it's not great. So we're gonna go in intermetatarsal one and two uh, and inject a bolus so that we can anesthetize the medial branch of the plantar nerve. Uh, then the uh, deep perineal nerve which will cover the lateral aspect of the hallux and the superficial perineal nerve and then we'll come across medially so that we get the medial dorsal cutaneous nerve as well. Uh, we probably won't need to do the saphenous today. Uh, I think that may be enough. Right to the bottom. Aspirate. Put the bolus here. Just a little bit. Uh, yeah, a bit. Uh, cutaneous nerve. Let's get a little blab going there. 